Hello, thanks for watching my YouTube video. I'm making a YouTube video in response to a question that I received on my YouTube channel. And the question was, can you use a DVD combo recorder to record VHS C format videotapes to DVD? And yes, you certainly can. First of all, you will need a combo recorder that will play a VHS tape in, on this side and record a DVD on this side. Now, the VHS C format tapes are a smaller cartridge. They're the same width and size of actual tape in there, but they are a very compact and would only rec be recorded in a VHS C camcorder of that era. Now this is the full size VHS tape, which we won't be using, but I have sh made a DVD previously showing how to transfer this VH or any VHS tape using the combo recorder to a DVD. Your combo recorder needs to be connected to a TV or a flat screen TV or a monitor of some kind in order for you to see the playback. Now the connection I'm using now is simply the HDMI out going into the flat screen HDMI TV. Okay, now there are other outputs. If you want to hook it up, there are RCA outputs and maybe even S-Video output. But this is the most common connection now, is the HDMI. So what we do with this mini, or this VHS-C format tape, is we place it in the carrier. Now carriers uh, will all be very similar and they have a compartment that opens to place the tape in. Some carriers actually you will take a battery on the side that will automatically open the compartment but this one is all manual. No battery required in this one. So we place the tape inside the carrier looking something like this and then we close close the carrier. Now these are referred to as VHS-C carriers or adapter. This actually calls it a cassette adapter, which is however you want to refer to it, a cassette adapter or a cassette carrier. But you simply plug it in. I mean you simply insert the VHS tape into the player and you can see the counter It'll start playing and the counter will count. They always start at zero when you put a tape in. And these boys were recording a audio session in a audio studio. Now, you can, you, and the counter's at 29 right there. Now what I recommend is that you want to know how much tape is recorded on here. And this counter will count uh, as long as there's tape that's recorded on, it will count it in, in uh, seconds and minutes and hours. So we're at 29, which is, we just started by putting the tape in. Don't know if the tape was in the beginning, the middle, or the end. So I would recommend fast forwarding this until there is no more. The counter stops. Okay, the counter stops. So I was close to the end of this tape. We'll use the controller to clear the counter and so now I'm going to rewind the tape after I stopped it because the counter stopped and didn't count anymore and that means there's no more video on the tape and I'm going to rewind it and it's going to rewind now to the beginning so I'll know um, because it has to rewind forward and then we're we're going to see in minus time what the total length, when we rewind it backwards, what the total length is. And as soon as we find that out, we will be able to then transfer the uh, VHS-C format tape to a DVD. So while it's counting down, I am going to turn off and come back to it after it's totally rewound. Okay, well it's already totally rewound. 
to 46 minutes and 19 seconds. So what we do is we want to use the we we'll use the controller to clear the counter. It says 46, 19. Okay, now it's to zero. So when we start the transfer, we know at 46, 19, we'll, we'll have run into the end of all the recording on this tape. Now I'm going to briefly stop right now, get a DVD, and put it in. Use the switch, the switch from VCR player right now to DVD. And that is when we push the open the cabinet door for the DVD. And we put the DVD in. And we close the DVD cabinet drawer. And you will see that it's loading the DVD that we're going to transfer onto. Okay. Now that it has finished loading, the, the counter will tell us at this point how much recording time at the recording record speed that we're using which is standard record speed we have two hours that we can record on this time we switch back to the VHS side and the counter goes to zero I'm going to use the remote controller so I'm going to hit play to play the tape as soon as I see picture on there, I'm going to pause it, and then we're going to hit the dubbing button. To tr and that will transfer the uh, VHS-C format video to a DVD. And then there's picture, so we'll pause it. Then what we do is we hit the dubbing button. That is the dubbing button, and you can see it says VCR. It's dubbing right now. But we are now transferring the tape to DVD. And, and like we were aware of, that it's 49 minutes and several seconds. So it'll take, in real time, it records, it transfers, it digitizes this analog tape to DVD in real time using the combo recorder. Then we will have to finalize it after it is finished transferring. And let's say we get to the end of the 49 minutes and several seconds and then all you'll see is a blurry picture there and you know you've gone to the end of the video. That's all that's recorded on the video. So at that point, you just stop the recording. You can see it has a message that says, please finalize the disc when, when the writing is complete. Now it's just writing to the disc right now. It's not finalizing at this point. It's just writing to the disc. So we wait for it to write, write to the disc. Then when it gets through, it will pop up a thumbnail. At that point, we hit stop and we hit set up. And then you see a screen that says disk edit at the bottom so we'll scroll down to disk edit and we'll tell it okay we simply okay to disk edit and then under that is finalize which is in the center here and we'll have to hit okay again to finalize and then it asks us again finalize disk and yes we really do want to so that's essentially all the steps to transfer a VHS-C format, which is this size tape, the C size, recorded in a camcorder that's a VHS-C camcorder to DVD. Now when the finalizing is complete, it'll sc scroll to the end as you can see on the screen. It's only 2% complete, so you have to wait till that's finished. But when it is entirely finished, finalizing it will put thumbnail back on the screen and you can play the DVD back the DVD is finalized you'll see a thumbnail and you can actually play it back right now and in addition to that this DVD will play on most all DVD players so let's put it in play and Got to use the right remote, which is we're playing it from here, but that's the TV, that's a remote for that TV. 
but we'll play it back and let you see that it did finalize and it did record and it is playing back. Thanks for watching my YouTube video and I hope you'll watch the other videos on my YouTube channel and I'd like to ask you to please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.